Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this spring with JDBC tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to work on named parameter JDBC DAW support class using annotations. In previous video tutorial, I have shown you how to work with the uh, XML based. Uh, now in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to work with the annotation based approach. So, in previous previously I had created this pro project named parameter JDBC template using annotation. So let me make another copy of this project in the same workspace, and I would give the name uh, project name as named parameter JDBC dog support using annotation. let me close this project and let's open this project which we had uh, copied from previous project so let me explain you this project so in this project this is the client program we have and from client program we are making call to the service layer we have refactored code and here look at here here we are making the call to the service layer component and from service layer component uh, we are making call to the DAW layer and here we have made use of uh, named parameter JDBC template now we are planning to use uh, named parameter JDBC DAW support class so if you want to make this class in your DAW layer then your, cl your DAW class has to extend named parameter DAW support class and this is here now once your doc class extend named parameter jdbc toss support class then you don't need to uh, write named parameter jdbc template and corresponding setter method so i'm going to remove this code snippet now everywhere you are getting error right so here we can inherit a method is called get named parameter jdbc template which is available on the super class now everywhere you will have to replace because we are getting compilation error so replace these things excuse me So now, now if your doc class extends named parameter JDBC DAW support, then we need to supply either data source or JDBC template instance to this super class. Again, this class has another super class, it's called JDBC DAW support super class, and this class has a setter method of data source as well as JDBC template. So either of one you can inject from your subclass from your doll layer. So I'm I'm planning to inject data source. So here I'm going to write a API public void and method name I'm going to give init. And here you can make call to the set either data source or JDBC template. So in our configuration file we don't have JDBC uh, yeah here you can pass JDBC template template as well as data source so in configuration file we don't have JDBC template we have a data source so I would like to inject data source now this data source of course we have a, we have to declare as a instance variable so here I'm going to declare private data data source and this import you will have to do from javax.sql data source and before this instance variable you will have to write at the rate auto -wire. but you don't need to write a setter method for this guy because setter method of this is already available in the uh, your super class right if you search here setter method of 
data source and this method is final so you cannot override it only you can inherit from the super class now this init method I am going to annotate as a at the rate post construct so this is the JSR 256 uh, JSR 250 annotations so once you, uh, our class this dog class will be instantiated and all property will be seted then uh, this method will be called automatically so this much changes we have to do and that's it we have done so if you look into the configuration file then look at here yes. now we have uh, made in our auto scanning for these two packages because in this these two packet we have used some annotations so if you look into the doll layer then we have used at the rate repository so this is one of the studio type annotations and we have used at the rate auto wire so this these two annotations will be enabled by writing this context column component is gone and you will have to give base package over here similarly in service IMPL we have made use of few annotations couple of annotations like at the rate service and at the rate auto wire so that's why this package also will have to register as a component scan so which we have done here now we have a data source right so we have here we have declared data source so while injecting the data source spring will look into this name and try to find the bean with the same name so that is there and that will be injected automatically by calling the public setter method which is available in the super class so we haven't written setter method for this in this class but setter method of this instance variable is available on the super class so that will be injected automatically so this much modification we have to do now let me run one api fetch all employee employees info so right click and run as a java application and this is working perfectly fine rest of the api i am not going to test i assume that everything will work so by testing the only one api so that's all I wanted to teach you in this video tutorial guys so if you want to watch my more videos which is upcoming videos then please subscribe my youtube channel so that you will get a notification about the recent uh, uploads so see you in next video tutorial thank you for watching my videos